This is the parliamentary constituency of Kensington, one of the richest constituencies in the United Kingdom. Here, nearly one in every eight residents claim non-DOM status, a certain tax provision which allows them to pay no UK tax on income from investment abroad. But this is not unique to Kensington. Many of the wealthiest people across the UK claim non-DOM status. Researchers conducted a systematic analysis of non-DOMs to find out who are they, what do they do, and where do they live. A non-DOM refers to a person who, despite being a UK resident, is non-domiciled. In other words, they claim their permanent home is outside the UK by ticking a box on their tax return. While UK residents who do not claim the status must pay taxes on offshore investments, non-DOMs do not have to pay any tax on their foreign investments, so long as the proceeds stay abroad. For the first time, this research quantifies the scale of the non-DOM regime. Take a look at this graph. It shows that since 2001, between 50 and 100,000 people claim non-DOM status year on year. But these are not the same people claiming each year. The total, who claim non-DOM status at some point between 1997 and 2018, has actually grown, suggesting that many people who once benefited have remained in the UK. These individuals are some of the wealthiest people living in the UK today. Amongst those who earn less than £100,000 a year, just three in a thousand have claimed non-DOM status at some point. But amongst those much better off, earning more than £5 million a year, we can expect more than 400 out of the same thousand to have claimed non-DOM status at some point. The high incomes of non-DOMs are unsurprising when we consider that, of those who work, many do so in a number of well-paid industries. And what's more, these wealthy individuals are highly globally connected. This map shows the percentage share of UK non-DOMs from nations around the world. The darker the colour, the greater the share. The US, India and France particularly stand out, whilst there aren't many non-DOMs from Africa or South America. This suggests that old colonial connections and deep European links still have relevance today. Whilst they come from many nations around the world, in the UK, non-DOMs live in only a few concentrated areas shown here, mostly in the southeast of England. Few live in Manchester, but this number is boosted by around 130 non-DOMs living here and working in the sports industry. Move to London and we can see the striking concentration of non-DOMs in the capital. Whilst on average, in the UK, 0.5% have claimed non-DOM status, in the constituencies of Kensington and the cities of London and Westminster, 12% claim non-DOM status at some point. So, who are the UK's non-DOMs? They are a group of wealthy and highly globalised individuals, living as close neighbours in some of the richest parts of the country.